So, a few days ago, one of my friends uploaded this video on YouTube talking about her struggles in her 20s life and watching it just made me want to reflect on myself and I did. I sat down, I talked alone, I reflected on what I've been through over the last two years and I just thought that I could share a bit about this journey to you on this channel um, since I haven't had like a proper introduction about myself just yet so it's like the right timing and um, yeah So hi, my name is Sin, I'm 23 years old and currently living in Melbourne, Australia. Um, hold on, I think I should set a proper angle. This is just not nice, like just laying down and talk to you, so one second. Here we go. Ah. Ah. Where are we at? Right, yeah, I came to Melbourne in 2020 to do my bachelor degree and somehow I got to do my master's too, so it's been a long journey. Of course, living abroad has given me a rich experience, but I guess there are more lows and highs. Like, I have always lived far away from my family since high school, so I'm pretty independent and I'm not that type of person who feel homesick regularly um, but in recent years it's just strange that I feel it I feel homesick I miss my family almost every single day and I know that there's something wrong going on <laughs> it's like it's not normal to me and that I know that I feel lost. I feel that sense of uncertainty and lost everyone was talking about on the internet like how do I navigate through my 20s and stuff. I feel so lost and those kind of things. And when I, I watch those kind of video, I can relate to. It makes me miss my root so bad where I belong to or where I can really feel the relatedness. Um, so yeah. Uh, everything gets better now but it's just like last year until early this year I still feel I still had that m moment of lost for me it was very uneasy up to the point that I needed a therapist so during that time I was in the lowest point of my life among a lot of reasoning, the root cause to my anxiety is because I was in a life-changing period. I started to work professionally, um, but in the environment where there are so many differences in languages and cultures. Even though Australian people, they are so nice, they are polite and very friendly. All my colleges are very nice, treated me so well, but it's just something in my mind that makes me feel like I don't belong here. And I started to feel that sense of isolation. You know, all my friends who I grew up with and my family, they are in Vietnam. And I guilt over myself too. Like, I moved away from my significant ones to pursue kind of like my dream life, my dream career and I just feel so bad about it, like I leave it, I'm leaving them and the worst is that I doubt myself, I wonder if all these efforts will pay off if I go back to Vietnam everything will be much easier so why am I still here, am I selfish? What if my decision to stay in Australia is just a waste of time and money? Do my achievements, if any, in here matter at the end? All together led me to this vortex of confusion, uncertainty, anxiety, you name it. And yeah, 
I could not afford any fellow you know, at the time. I kept saying to myself that this is the right decision and I need to make it right. Like, even though it's not right, I need to make it right. I need to prove to everyone, including myself, that it's the right choice. And that's why I kept pushing myself to the boundaries. I didn't let myself rest at all. I was always in that autopilot, working, studying 24-7, like all the time. I work so hard that sometimes I forgot to eat. I made no time for exercising and I unconsciously put my anger and my stress on my boyfriend because basically he was the only one who closest to me at the time, you know? So it just made our relationship become so tense. <sighs> and my mind was always busy thinking of how to juggle things, how to balance work, study, how to balance my personal life with my social life and my love life. Physically and mentally, I would just never rest. I was in that state for the entire year until I realized that I need a break. I could not bear it anymore. I need a break before it's too late. So this is my 2022 journal. Um, and let me see. I'm glad that I journaled so that I can look back. But here we go. On the 1st of October 2022, I wrote, My mind could not be quiet. I exaggerated everything. I was thinking about drugs and alcohol to keep myself calm. I hope these thoughts will go away. That's just a bit, um, that is just a part of it. This journal infused strong negativity that I couldn't ever imagine that I had those kind of thoughts. So that's why my goal for 2023 is just to take care of myself, to take care of my physical, my mental and my spiritual health. I needed a quality break. In January 2023, I made my way back to Vietnam. I told myself to care about nothing but just eat, sleep and play. Just relax. And I still remember that moment. It's like imprinted in my head. Right after I stepped my foot on the airport, my friends who I grew up with are, were already there to welcome me back home. And when I got home, my grandma already made a meal ready. I was surrounding with my family, my friends, and people that I know all the time and that made me feel so, so blessed. It strengthened my belief that no matter what happened, I will always have their back. And that thought has helped me to stay positive. I also had a chance to get closer to the nature. Like, this is a turning point. I, I went to a mountain resort in the North Vietnam and it was so quiet there. I literally hear like birds singing, the flowing stream sounds, the rustle of trees blowing in the wind. Living in that moment, I finally found peace. It's very healing. It heals my soul. It made me forget all about like my anxiety and worries. But then in late February, I had to go back to Australia and I had that moment of fear. Like I was scared that what if my anxiety come back and stuff like that. Um, so I try to take it easy. My focus besides studying is just to eat well and started to um, exercise and meditate. And since then, I've been maintaining these like healthy habits pretty well, except for the meditation because it's so boring for me. 
like um, I can't sit still at all. But yeah, anyways, now it's halfway of 2023 and I think I'm finally in a better mental state that I'm ready to sit here and share with you about it. In the end, I had lots of fun this half year. This break allows me to slow down, reflect on myself, and so I regain my purpose. And let me put it clear, I'm not here to tell you to do whatever. I'm just telling my experience and my story as it may resonate with you at some point. For me, I acknowledge my limited resources, meaning my health, my energy, and that I allow myself to pause. I know the pressure that young people nowadays face is no joke. Like the internet doesn't tell you to stop. It tells you nothing is impossible, but to be realistic, things are impossible at some point of time that like we need to be conscious about what we are capable of and what we have and what we can do so just take things easy primarily what we can do is to love our friends self just take the chance to reconnect with yourself and your purpose when you need to take a break when you feel like these are the way we'll keep ourselves going. You know when I do Pilates, the trainer once told me that you rather take small breaks in between rather than trying to push through and then exhausted and then unable to finish the set. And it has become my rule of thumb. Long story short, I regained my energy. Even though I'm still unsure about what next, it's no longer the feeling of lost or the stress of finding the right answer. This video is a reminder that it's okay to be weak and vulnerable. A break doesn't mean that you give up, rather you should see it as a lever to achieve greater things. And as I'm saying this, I know that there's a fine line between taking a break and quitting. So just reconnect with yourself and find your purpose. That will be the North Star to guide you through like the uncertainty. Well, I wish that this is helpful and yeah, have a great weekend and I will see you in my next video.